Today we are going to talk about findings, how to write the findings and the discussion section of your systematic literature review paper. And this is probably the second last section of your paper. So there, there are basically two things that we cover in this section. One is to explain your findings and the insights that you gain by doing that that you gained by doing this research. So that is first thing. And second thing that we cover in this or in this uh, section is how to what were the threats to the validity of our research and what we have what steps we have taken to ensure that our research is replicable and reliable. So other researchers or other research teams can take our research and study and they can basically completely replicate it if they wanted to. Those are the two things that we are going to cover in today's session. So when we talk about findings and discussion, this section is a little bit different than other typical research sections in the research paper. Okay, or a good discussion section is like storytelling. Basically, what you have done so far is you have decided how you want to. So basically, firstly, you firstly you identified your research question. Yeah. Based upon that, you decided a research methodology of how you are going to answer that question. In our case, SLR. Next, you actually did what you said you would do. So in the methodology section, you said we will use these keywords. Uh, we will run these search strings. This is how we will sort the papers. This is how we will analyze the papers. And all that protocol that you have designed, you have, uh, designed you have then actually executed that protocol in the next section, which is you have actually done the research. You have done the keyword, you have searched the keywords. When you do that, you gather uh, some new information or you collate the information in a new way. You come up with a thematic map, you come up with a knowledge map, you structure the literature in your discipline in a new way so that it is easier for others to learn from that. So once you have done all this, the next phase or the next section of your uh, review paper is discussion. And this has to be like a storytelling. This has to be like a story. So you have to take the reader through your journey of doing the research and explain them or tell them what is it that you found by doing uh, by when you conducted this research. And this applies to both uh, empirical or primary studies as well as for your SLR papers, okay? So if you were a kid, many a times or most of the times, the fairy tales begin something like this. Once upon a time, there was a king, there was a prince, there was a princess or whatever. And it ends with, and then they all happily lived ever after. So when you're writing your discussion, think about this. Think about a fairy tale, how interesting and how engaging it is. It takes you to uh, through a, a journey and tells you a story. You have to do the same thing with your research paper in the discussion section. Okay, so to do that from a research point of view, what I suggest is you start asking questions and framing responses to those questions and structure these question answers in a way, in a story, in a format or in a, on a timeline. And this will help you to tell your story in a very methodical way, very engaging way and very interesting way. So that is the beauty of the discussion section. So discussion section is very important for to recap whatever you have done in your research and, and to tell it in a very practical, useful way. So if, if the reader or anyone who is reading your paper does not read the any other sections of the paper, but if they read the discussion section, they should get the whole crux of what you want to say. So here I have got, I think over 25 questions. Um, and these are like guide posts. You can think of a question like this and write a response to this question from a primary studies point of view. So if you have taken two, uh, 20, 30, 40, whatever number of studies that you have taken uh, for your SLR, first of all, you want to decide how you're going to uh, write the story. So again, here, what you could do is you can write multiple stories. 
वन फॉर ईच थीम और वन फॉर ईच रिसर्च क्वेश्चन 